welcome to my channel in this lecture we are going to discuss about the reverse saturation current so previously we discussed about how does a transistor conduct how what is the influence of vbe and vcb over the electrons and holes so what is reverse saturation current so if you can see in this pn junction the junction of the base and the collector what is the reverse saturation current here in the base region in the p region holes are the majority carriers in the n or the collector region electrons are the majority carriers there occurs a transmission of electrons from base region it transfers from the collector region to base region and based again to the collector region so these are the uh, role of the majority charge carriers if there are majority charge carriers in a semiconductor or in the layers of semiconductor there sure will be minority charge carriers so let's see what happens or what is the role of a minority charge carrier here though this is slightly doped with holes this also has some minority charge carriers electrons and coming again to the collector it has minority charge carriers holes like this so what happens the recombination takes place with the minority charge carriers so if you can see holes in the collector region recombines with the electrons in the base region so direction of current is in this direction which is denoted by icbo icbo is the reverse saturation current that occurs in the collector base region icb is the current reverse saturation current of collector base region this o is the emitter region open circuited emitter region is open circuited or not considered that is the uh, indication of this notation icbo icbo is the reverse saturation current so when does this reverse saturation current occurs so when this device is operating and when the temperature of this device increases when this npn transistor temperature increases so any device which is operated for a longer amount of time has uh, have, will have the temperature to increase to some extent so from the normal temperature of npn transistor if the temperature increases from normal there will be occurrence of reverse saturation current the recombination of holes and electrons in the collector and base region respectively so coming to the equation ie equal to ib plus ic this is a universal transistor current equation again i write another equation ic equal to alpha ie what is the meaning for this expression ic is the collector current ie is the base current and alpha is the coefficient what type of coefficient multiplication coefficient for example i would say that the collector current will be equal to the emitter current because all the electrons due to the influence of these biases forward and reverse biases from the emitter region move to the collector region so amount of emitter current will be equal to the amount of collector current because all the electrons from here move to this region this alpha what is this alpha this alpha is here because in this base region there are some amount of holes which opposes the flow of electrons some electrons so remaining amount of electrons flow to the collector so that is this alpha i'll explain it in a more clear way ic should be approximately equal to ie or ic should be equal to 1 ie okay but due to this influence of holes in the middle in the base region ic will be equal to alpha ie and alpha will be equal to 0.98 so out of 100% of electrons moving from the emitter to collector region there will be 2% of electrons get recombined in the base region so 98% of electrons move from the emitter region to the collector region that 98% is noted in as 0.98 this is the usual way to represent so 
two percent of the electrons get blocked or recombined in the p region itself. So this is the reason for writing IC equal to alpha IE. Here, if you can see, IC is the output current. Always in NPN transistor, IC is the output current, and this expression does not stop here. Plus IC BO. These are forward currents. When there are forward current, there will be some reverse saturation current, which I was explaining before. Thank you.